there was it was some bar fight. Uh, you got into a bar fight after UFC 13 with Mark Coleman. Oh, that was a long time ago. Wow, time flies. Yeah, no, that that um, happened. There was a boxing trainer that was there, and he was kind of an arrogant ass and uh, stepping on people and people that worked there. So they buzzed my ear and said, this guy's an asshole. And I'm like, oh, really? Who? And they're going, Al Stanky, he's over there. So I went over in his area and uh, it didn't take long before he noticed me and he said something smart. So I ear cut them and slapped them upside the head. And then the whole riot took, took place in this cocktail party. You know, I never understood why you have a cocktail party with a bunch of fighters. <laughs> I mean, it's not something you want to do. And so everybody just went ape shit crazy. And Mark, uh, I had a lot of respect for him, still do. But um, he was a wrestler, I was a wrestler, and uh, he was down at his first show uh, before he was going to fight. I was, I was there down in the bar kicking back some drinks. And he goes, I'm not drinking, I'm just, you know, I gotta get out and do something, I'm nervous. And I go, hey man, it's just like a wrestling match, don't worry about it, don't, you're overthinking it. And ever since then we kind of had a little bit of a, a bond or not a bonds too strong of a word but uh we had a kind of a hey what's up thing at the shows so when somebody cold cocked me which was no big deal and then he tackled that guy and so it was like me and mark and all us stooges that hung out with us fighting the other side of the the other side of the party and all their stooges and uh it got stopped and and then they they were talking about banning it and the whole nine yards but nothing came of it 